bodies found in a townhouse where a woman lived in fear. Brittany Higgins' boyfriend quits his job. And music duo Daft Punk's explosive goodbye. Hi, I'm CJ and this is The Skinny. Two bodies have been pulled from a burnt out townhouse south of Brisbane in what's believed to be a horrific case of domestic violence. Detectives say Doreen Langham had a domestic violence protection order against her husband and had changed the locks. Neighbours reported hearing screams before the blaze took hold. The partner of Brittany Higgins has quit his job over fears her allegations will affect the way the federal government deals with his company. David Schraz's job involves seeking government contracts. Brittany is among four women accusing a government staffer of sexual assault. Prince William has given a little bit of insight into the health of Prince Philip after he spent a sixth night in hospital. William told someone at a vaccination centre in England that Philip was doing okay and hospital staff are keeping an eye on him. There's been no official update from the palace. The Queensland Premier has announced Anzac Day commemorations will go ahead this year as the state manages to control COVID-19. That includes Anzac Day dawn services, marches and all other public commemorations. Services were cancelled last year. Uh, initially we were looking at alternative venues, whether we could do the march around the stadium, around uh, the ECA, and uh, when we presented this to Dr Young, Dr Young said everything can go ahead as per normal as in the past. The second batch of the Pfizer vaccine arrived in Sydney overnight, boosting our national supply. The shipment was successfully taken off a Singapore Airlines plane at Sydney Airport. The vaccine rollout started yesterday for hotel quarantine workers and health staff. Doses per week uh, and then by the end of March as we move uh, to the next phase with uh, the CSL Australian made doses uh, we should have approximately 1 million doses per week that are available. Visitors to Niagara Falls have posted stunning images of the waterfall flowing with ice. A February cold snap has created a frozen winter wonderland with rocks and trees coated in ice. A rainbow made the scene even more majestic for some. Daft Punk has announced their retirement, posting an epilogue video where one of them explodes in the desert. The pair formed Daft Punk in 1993 with hits such as One More Time, Around the World and Get Lucky. Daft Punk breaking up in 2021 is like going to whatever job you worked at in 2013 and being like, I quit, and then being like, you haven't worked here for years. Yeah, well, I quit. Thanks for all the dance floor memories. For more, visit network11.tv.